Hello and welcome to Peebo. Mr. D here. Welcome to the final video in our Biomechanics for Beginners series. So far, we've covered an introduction to biomechanics, kinetic concepts, kinematic concepts, and levers. Today, we're going to bring it home with equilibrium. So, you're going to learn about the center of gravity, the base of support, and the line of gravity. Let's get into it. Alright, so equilibrium is when an object or a person has no unbalanced forces or torques, torques are rotational forces, acting on it. This can be in a state of static or dynamic equilibrium. Okay, so these are the three things that affect equilibrium. Let's have a look at the center of gravity. So this is the point where the body's weight is balanced. This changes depending on the position of the body, as we can see here. The center of gravity would be somewhere where these red lines intersect in the middle here. A key point here is the lower the center of gravity, the more stable somebody or something is. Okay, this is why you see in rugby, players squatting, getting low to the ground when they make a tackle or are in a scrum. So they are more balanced, they have more equilibrium, and they're able to deliver force without falling over. Okay, next we have the base of support. Okay, this refers to the area inside any of the body parts that are touching the ground or the supporting surface, which usually refers to the feet. A very simple concept is the bigger the base of support, the more stable something or someone is. Okay, we can see in this image here, this chair has four legs, so four things touching the ground or the supporting surface. Therefore, it has a large base of support and is very stable. Okay, this person here has two feet, touching the ground and has a smaller base of support. Okay, so it would be theoretically less stable. Finally, we have the line of gravity. This acts through the center of gravity and refers to the direction that gravity pushes down. All right, a key point here, when the line of gravity acts inside the base of support, stability is increased. Okay, so in this image here, the center of gravity would be somewhere where that red dot is. Okay, the base of support would be a square in between his legs and his hands there. Okay, so quite a large base of support, so he would be quite stable. Okay, and finally the line of gravity, which would be where the gravity is pushing down, okay, would be somewhere around there. Okay, so this would be a balanced position because the line of gravity is going through the center of gravity, which is within the base of support. So there you have it. Those are the basic concepts of equilibrium. You made it guys. Thanks so much for coming on this journey, learning about biomechanics for beginners. You've covered what is biomechanics, kinetic concepts, kinematic concept, levers, and equilibrium. As the title suggests, this is just for beginners. There's many different concepts and ideas and depths to these to biomechanical principles. And my hope is that you've learned something in this series that you can apply both in school and in real life into your sport to improve your performance. If you've got any feedback for this series, did you like it, did you not like it, what would you like to improve, add it in the comments and I'll keep that in mind for future videos. Thanks very much everybody, bye.